Hello and welcome back to my second Photoshop tutorial. Now this one's more of a basic guide as opposed to one like a certain idea, like a dollar bill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two pictures that I'm working with and I'm going to open with Photoshop Elements. And it opens pretty quickly because I already had Photoshop up. So I have a Corvette and the old iPod. So we're going to start with a Corvette. And so what we're going to be doing is changing the color of this car. Now a lot of times people will just go into enhance, adjust color, replace color, click on the color, maybe add a couple more colors, and then go to result and make it like green. But if you don't know how to do it, it can turn out like this, really bad and splotchy and not very good. So there's really techniques and a way to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to replace color under enhance, and then this down here shows you uh, what you have selected, but it's kind of hard to see from this to there. So what we're going to do, even if you change it the fuzziness, but what we're going to do is we're going to put the fuzziness about like 44, and what we're going to do, well I'm saying that a lot, we're going to take the saturation and take it all the way down. And then it shows you on your real image what colors are being selected. And then we take whatever colors are left over, and just click on all the red that's left over with our plus from over here. And so all like the little red spots are like, different shades that it hasn't picked up. And you don't have to be perfect, just make sure you get the overall, all the dark colors, all the light colors, until it looks genuinely gray. It's a good band name, genuinely gray. And then you go to result over here, and you can change any color, like how much better does that look? And then you can it, one thing it doesn't work with though is really light colors. It, make, it makes the edges look all shaky. Like a, like a really yellow -y color doesn't really transfer right because it was a dark vehicle. So if we kind of, we can do like a dark purple or like a turquoise kind of color. But I'm going to go ahead and put it at like a at like a army green kind of color. And you'll notice if we click OK both times, it you, you get all the same overtones and highlights and shadows that you would have and this is really easy but the Corvette because it has all like the shadows and highlights and shines is a little harder th to do and a little different than a different example so I'll quit out of this I won't save it. So now this iPod this iPod has a bunch of different shades it has the dark on the side it has uh, going from foreground to background some shading gradients so in order to do this we're going to enhance, adjust color, re replace color. But we gotta be really careful. We gotta look at this image over here because that'll help us see what we have selected. So if we click right there, there we have a pretty good selection. Now we could bring the fuzziness up and there we go, we're done, but that kinda gets the background a little too. So bring the fuzziness up and we're done. Or if you wanna be really careful, you can bring it down you can bring it down and get all the little spots. But for this, fuzziness will work because they're such clear shapes. And see how the the color of the iPod screen hasn't changed at all? That's good. And then we bring the saturation back up to normal, click on result, and then I was always thinking that a disgusting color for the iPod would be like a poop chocolate brown kind of thing. I think that'd just be a horrible color, so I'm going to put that down there and see if people believe it. So there we have it, a, uh, there we go, a poop colored iPod and a dark green Corvette, just to show you how to do this basic thing, and of course this works with all sorts of colors, it's good if the whole thing is like colored one color, not like a, like a flower or something, it might be a little harder to do because there's a bunch of colors on a flower, but a car or a motorcycle or a piece of uh, technology wouldn't be too hard, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just post them, and uh, thanks again.